This is Jan Trader, and it is Friday morning. Now, this was a real quick five days here for this week. Uh, there was a lot of good trading action here in the crude and the natural gas, and basically in technology. A lot of good trades here this week. Uh, but again, you know, we have one more day left here. Let's see if we can make a few bucks here today. Now, as usual, we are going to review crude oil here and natural gas. This video is for information purposes only. Not a recommendation to buy, sell any stock, come out the ETF. Please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, here we have crude oil here, your daily and your weekly chart. Now remember, the rig count will be out today at 1 p.m. Uh, for the crude and the natty. Now, when we look here at this price channel situation, see how we have this now? Okay, so the price channel looked like it moved uh, up here a little bit. So we're looking at the top of this candle now, which is 79 uh, 62. So, so now our box got a little bit bigger. Okay. So realistically, what we want to look here is we're trading in this range here. Okay. So it was 20, uh, 79, 29. Now she bumped up a little bit here. It's 79, 62. Okay. So you can see today we have a nice big green candle. So what we want to do is we want to all watch, obviously the top of that price channel at that, uh, 79, 62. And then here's your box here at the bottom. See this 75.52? So we're basically, if you just bring the line right across here nice, and you can see how that 50 days rule are, are, are moving up here, we have a nice good trading range. Now, we have a big green candle. We've got to see if it's going to uh, um, shake out here today. Now, yesterday we had a topping tail here, and then it came down, but you notice it held all the nice key support levels. Yesterday we had another topping tail, but the candle turned green. So you didn't really have that red, red kind of a situation. And now she just, you know, nice big green candle. Now, when we have this breakout, it's going to be huge, okay? So it isn't going to be like it's going to pop up a little bit, a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So what we have to do is look to the left of the chart here. You see this candle? This is the big candle on the breakdown, okay? And then we just kept on going lower. So when we looked at, at this candle, you look at the top of that, that's 8105, and the bottom was 7709. So you really had a four-point move in crude okay which really just signified that boom this is going to go lower and i think that's what we're going to get here uh when we're going to go higher we're going to break right through and you're going to leave a nice big green candle and then that shows that we can roll right on up here okay well first of all let's just take a look at the downside here first okay <clears throat> so uh, today's uh, a range here so far is you have uh, 79.57 and your low is 78.05. So you can see this 8 SMA here looking really, really nice. Okay, so really what you want to do, it, this is going to be your key support level here, is going to be the 78.14. Uh, and then right below it, we have this 77.80, which is your, <clears throat> your 200 day. Now, when we look at our weekly chart here, let me bigger up a little bit. <clears throat> okay, you have your 50-day here sitting at 77.58, which would be just below that 77.80. And then what we have here is we have your 100-day. You're sitting at, well, I shouldn't say that. We should have this 21 SMA here first at 76.90. And then you have your 100-day uh, sitting at uh, 76.86. And then we have 76. Uh, uh, 63. So that's kind of all jammed together. So when you look at this 21 SMA here at 76.90, and then we have your, you know, your 86 here on your 100 day, and then your uh, 63. That's a lot of good support levels. And then right below this, you have that 75 here, uh, 96. So a lot of really good support levels here, right below this. But right now, you can see that this 8 SMA is strong. Look how strong that is, okay? 78.14, and then you have 77.80 sitting right there below your 200 day. Now you can see that, look at there, even though this had a topping tail candle, you look at you're holding it. Same way here yesterday, you're holding it, and so far today. So we're gonna have to see if we're gonna have some sideways action. Is she gonna break through, or we're we gonna have a like like a little what we had yesterday? So that is gonna be the very key. Now your RSI, you still have room to run. You're very bullish here on your MACD. Your green is above your red, very nice. Same way as your weekly, your green is above your red here, and your RSI is looking really good. Now, here we look on a weekly. Now, this will be the last day of the old week. Uh, just a quick week today for a week this week. I don't know for some reason. So what we really want to watch here is we want to make sure that we're going to hold this key 50 SMA, that 77.58, that 21 SMA here on a weekly basis, which is today. And then we have that 75.96. But you can see how nicely that eight days curling up. 
If we can get that above that 21 day and a 50 day, it's just going to be a matter of time before this rocket's right on off here. Okay, so realistically, what we want to also watch is is you still want to watch it 79, 29. Uh, on a closing basis, that's going to be also very, very key. So let's just look at the upside here real quick. Okay, if you can break above, above that key channel, that's 79.62, you can see here where we just have these levels here, 79.60, 79.77, okay? And then we have this really nice rounded bottom going on here. And then we have a low, higher, low, higher, low, higher, low, just a beautiful bullish pattern. So once we break out of this, Basically, this neckline right here, okay, which is that 70, uh, well, we can even say here this 79.77 level. Once we break out of that, then there's just you're just going to rip up higher. So what we want to do is just look to the left here, okay? So you want to look at that 81.05, um, 82.24, and then we have a nice 83.60 where this price channel here is coming right across. And then we'll venture up to uh, 85.30, and then we'll bring that price channel across. You have 85.90, and then we can work yourself here, 88.29, and then we bring this price channel across, and we can come all the way up here to this uh, 89.85. So that is our upside target uh, as far as the levels go. But we also want to watch, and I'll be in more detail here after the pick close, is you always want to watch the top of this candle here. This is that 92.43 because that was where the, it ran up then came down and then broke through. So that's going to be key resistance level before you get to the 9503. But see, when you push price channels in here, see how they work nice on the downside, then that just becomes resistance here on the upside, makes it real easy here for the old trade. But realistically, the key what we're watching today is the top of this price channel. That's at 79.62. Okay, a close above that then we can start getting ready for this thing to go much higher, okay? Now, if we just have a sideways action, what we wanna watch here is make sure that we hold this key eight SMA. This is very, very crucial, the 78, uh, 14, and then that 77, 80. This is the level that we really wanna hold here today. And obviously, if it's lost, then we can come to your 50 SMA, that's 77, uh, 58, and then we can just start getting into all these 7686, this level right here. And obviously, if that is lost, then we can come to the bottom of this candle, okay? <clears throat> You're looking at 7584, and then this is a key one here at 7552. You can see this was that double bottom. You put 7554, uh, uh, 7552, and then, then this is where it all kind of like started going here on the upswing. Now, what I do like about it is look at your 21 SMA here, okay? You're starting to roll up. But look how nice this 21 day, see, you're holding it. Even though you came down, even with this red candle, you held the 21. Right here, you held the 21, and then she's just rolling up higher. So this is always very bullish. Your 50 day was right on the downslide, flattened out. Now that's on the upswing. That's always very, very bullish. And when you look at this, the RSI, so you got nice plenty of room here to run the same way with your MACD. Very, very nice, and it shows you that, you know, you have momentum and you have bullishness here. The key today, again, is just watch that upside, that 79.62. A close above, then I'll be uh, be adding to my position here uh, immensely, let's just say that. Okay, and then on the downside, you want to watch that 8 and that uh, 200 SMA. But again, today we might just get some sideways action here, just like we had here. But just let, this, the, let it shake out here. Don't force anything. Just let the trade come to you. Okay, let's take a look here on natural gas. Okay, here we have natural gas, your daily, and your weekly chart. Now, see what I like about this here is when we, this was just falling off the cliff here, okay? This was uh, this was the latest contract roll. This was the previous contract roll before that. So we had that gap down, and then this was where in the U.S. where they were uh, shutting down them. Uh, uh, they're not really shutting down. They're just putting hold on those pipelines, even though they're not going to be out till 2028. The key is always perception, okay? Just like when a stock gets news, it's not the news that matters. It's the reaction to the news. That is what matters. Always remember that, okay? So this is what we had. You say, oh, man, they're going to shut down the island. So this is why this all fell out. You add that with the seasonality. It's been a really warm uh, uh uh, winter, as uh, far as that goes. So this is where this uh, it all fell down. But when it came down to this low here, you can sense something different about the chart. It just it just seems different here, where you had that 1.52, and then it rallied right up. And where did it go? Okay. See, this is why you want to trade the charts right into that 8 SMA. Then okay, it popped up above, came below. But you notice that when it sold off, 
at 1.58. It never got down to that 1.52. Then we had like an inside day here. Now it's relling up. So it, we have like a sideways action here. But realistically, the key, let's just look at the downside first, is this 21 day. I can't stress it enough how critical it is for the, to hold the price here at 1.80. And then this 8 SMA, look how nice this is rolling up here now. Okay, so eventually this 20, 8 SMA is going to cross above that 21 day and you're going to send that price up higher. Okay, so these are very, very critical. See how nice that 8 SMA look here now? Okay, very, very nice. When it was below, the price just kept going into it. Now, once that price gets above it, now you can run on up just like we had here. Okay, see when that price gets above, then she just wants to roll up nice and high. Okay, so what we want to do here today is look at this key level. This is that 1.80. And then right below that here, we have your 1.76. Now, in the center, we can look at the bottom of this candle. It's 1.78. So basically, these two levels are very, very critical on a closing basis. That's a key, not intraday, but a closing basis. If that is lost, then what we can do is we can follow the candles down. So you look at the top of this one is 1.73. The bottom there, you have 1.71. And then we can just come right over here. What you have is... Uh, you have 1.66 here, and then we can look at the bottom there, 1.59. You have 1.58, and then your big retest. So realistically, that's where we could go if that 21-day and that 8-day is lost. But right now, it's looking very, very bullish here on a, uh, a trading basis here also. You look at your RSI here, very, very nice. And look, I love this bullish thing. See, shows that when that green is above the red, it shows not only bullish, but it has that momentum. Okay, it shows that there, there's a positive momentum. Very, very good. Now, um, for me, the natural gas has been a really good scalper. Yesterday, I, I scalped the UNG. Now, I have no position as of right now. I'm just waiting to see if it's going to maybe hold this, and I'll probably take a trade here or maybe two or three trades here in that UNG. That's what I'm looking for, okay? I'm not, right now, I'm just out of the cold here, KOLD, unless we lose that 21 day and we lose that eight SMA. That is going to be key. Now, let's just look at the upside. So, so far today, it's basically an inside day, which basically means you're within the price of the previous day's highs and lows. That's all it means, okay? So we want to look at today's high, 1.88, and then we want to come up here to this candle, 1.906, and then we have 1.918. That is what we're looking for. If that can get above, then we have 1.99, you have 204, 210, 212, but this is the bad boy right here. That's that 2.16. See where your price channel is? 2.168. That is your gap. Okay, so gaps and fills are like magnet to a fridge. Now, it's not going to get to that fill nowhere near today unless something dramatic happens, <clears throat> but the gap is very, very possible here, maybe here, maybe even next week. So this is what we want to look at as your target. Now, right above that here, there is resistance to the left, but realistically, this is where you're going, right to that uh, 50 SMA, 2.298 if we can get above that 2.168. Uh, that would be your nice upside target, but we have to hit this one first. So today, what you want to do on the downside, watch the 21, watch the 8, okay? On the upside, watch yesterday's high, 1.918. If you can get above that, then we have a chance to hit these resistant levels and a possible 2.168. Very, very easy. <clears throat> now, here we look on a weekly here. I pointed out here we have a low here, a low, an even lower low, and then a higher low. You have a nice positive divergence going here on your RSI. Very, very nice. And even though this 8 SMA here, the 21, all this is rolling over, now it's providing us targets here to shoot for, okay? So there's that 2.198. So if we get above that 2.16, then we'll be looking here for that 2.198 before we can hit that 2.16. Uh, a 29 at 50 SMA here. So now it's giving us good uh, good targets here on your weekly chart, and we can actually see the chart in motion versus just falling off a cliff. Okay, let's take a look here on the hourly and the four hour. I always like taking a look here on the hourly and four hour. It gives you a little bit of closer look, you know, versus you always want to use a daily, a weekly, and then a monthly. It gives you like say, okay, where is this possibly can go? But here, just a little bit more in tune. And then if you want to be, a, you know, if you want to scalp this trade, use a tick chart, a 1, a 5, a 15-minute, or even a 30-minute chart if you want to bring it out the trade out a little bit. But if we look at an hourly and a 4-hour, it gives you a pretty good view here, okay? So we have a nice low, higher low, higher low, higher low, 
higher low. And okay, so now we're right basically in this range. Now, if this ran right up here, this is that uh, 1.906. And then this sticky candle here, see this? This was here on yesterday on that uh, EIA report, okay? They, they came in at 96 BCF. They were expecting 88 BCF. And it just rolled in. But this was your selling point. That's what I did. I sold right into this yesterday. That was your selling. Okay, so, you know, right or wrong, I'm thinking, well, even if it rolls higher, I can always buy it back. It's not that big, big, big deal. But the UNG had a really nice, good uh, uh, run up here. And then it came down here, and now we pretty much have some sideways action. So when we look at the top of this candle, look at 1.89, and then we look at the top of this candle here, 1.88. Okay, so you have a little bit of a, see the, where the resistance again is here? So kind of, kind of like a double top situation. So you have to be a little bit careful. So now what we're doing is we're going to be watching the bottom here at that 1.84. And then we want to watch this candle. This is going to be very critical. This is that 1.829. Okay, so this is where we want to watch here that we don't lose that. Because if you do, then we have a target here of 1.8. And we have a target here of uh, uh, 1.73. But before you do that, we just always look to the left of the chart. So we use these price channels the same way as you go on up. Now we use these on, on the way down here for support. So if this price channel is locked, then we just come over here to the next price channel. Okay, if that's locked, we'll come over here to this next price channel. That's lost, we come over here to the next price channel. See, it makes life a little real easy here, but always look at one thing here on natural gas I wanna show you is right here, okay? So you look at this, the bottom of that candles is 1.71. There's a gap and then there's a fill here at 1.64 on your hourly chart, okay? So I'm not saying that it's gonna get there or even if it does ever get there because it's just this, just the hourly chart, but always just keep that in mind. But if this sells off here, just take your price channel, follow it right across. There's your support levels here. See how easy? And then these are your big time levels here that you want to watch. Now, again, the key is going to be this candle right here. This is going to be key. You want to make sure that holds this on a closing basis. That's that 1.829. So we might just get a, a sideways action here, but you want to watch on top that 1.88. And then we want to watch here 1.89. Okay, so... This is like a double top situation play. If we can get above that, then we'll look here at that 1.90 and then the retest 1.918. Above that, well, then we have a lot of good targets here. Okay, so when you look at your four hour chart here, okay, see, so you have 1.918. Well, if that breaks out above, what do we have here? You have a really nice target right there, sitting at 2.04, which lines up very nicely with the candlesticks on the daily chart. See that? Very, very nice. You know, this is another way here where we just take in, we just go right across. So when we look at that 2.04 here, we just follow your all the way and up. As it's stair step down, now we can possibly get it to stair step right back up again here, okay? So again, today, the big key is gonna be is that 1.918. If we can get above that, then we just follow those uh, levels here going all the way on up. I do like this chart because you had a low, a higher low, higher low. That's always a very, very bullish pattern. You're 50 days on the way up, you're 21 days on the up, and you're uh, eight days on the way up, and you're going sideways action. So this is a very, very good chart. But again, like uh, when you look at uh, um, uh, your natural gas, let the trade come to you. Don't force it. You know, a lot of people, you know, even like when we had the old sticky here yesterday, I looked at this and I was thinking, okay, well, these are just the EIA report here. Boom, I sell right into that, okay? That's how I usually do it. It's just like when I buy Apple stock. I buy Apple stock uh, uh, like four times a year. What I do is I buy it two weeks, three weeks ahead of time, and then I run it up to earnings. It's the same trade. And then what I do is is be uh, 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 when the earnings come out there, I sell half it in, in the morning and then half it right into the after hours, okay? That's how you trade Apple. So there's certain trends, certain things that you want to uh, uh, look for. Okay, that's what I got here for you on crude and natural gas. Again, I'll be back uh, later today and we'll do more of an in-depth there on crude and natural gas. And then um, uh, it seems like everybody seems to really like that natural gas update here at uh, on the midday trading. So that's what we're going to do today. And then we'll throw a little crude ski in there and then who knows what we'll throw in there. All right. Uh, thanks for watching.